time this very perfectly. Uh, one, two, three, and gotcha, gotcha. This is the green anaconda. He is the largest anaconda species in the world and he's really not too pleased with me right now. They're quite notorious for biting. Um, you can see here, if I get him to open his mouth, he's got razor sharp teeth. There we go. So he's got two rows on the top and the bottom of fishing hook like teeth. Uh, teeth. So I really don't want to get bitten. You can see here he's displaying that th breathing tube. So when they're in underwater uh, and they're eating, um, that that's how they they breathe as well. Um, absolutely amazing creatures. They get a lot bigger than this. This one was just caught 10 minutes ago. Um, and they're very powerful. So they're constrictors by nature. Look at the coloration. They spend most of the time in the water, completely hidden and camouflaged. And look at these spots. Very strong snakes. Look at him. Now snakes rely on that forked tongue to sense out their prey. Um, they flick by flicking that tongue, flickering that tongue, they pick up uh, scent particles around them, which uh, is taken to a specialised organ in the roof, uh, root of the uh, roof of their mouth called Jacob's organ, and that that provides the snake with information on where their prey is. So the forked tip in that tongue that gives the snake a sense of direction, i.e., if its prey is to the left or right via more uh, scent particles on the left or right hand side of that forked tongue. So they're very efficient predators. Look at that. This is in Peru. So you can see this anaconda here is trying his best to constrict my arm. Uh, they're very, very strong snakes. And anacondas are actually the heaviest snakes in the world, pound for pound. And they can still potentially get up to about 20 feet in length. The yellow anaconda um, is the second largest, so I think uh, a female, a big female, around 16 feet long. But look at the coloration. Perfectly adept to swimming around in these rainforest creeks and rivers, the Amazon just behind us. Now, reptiles are ectothermic, which means they rely on basking to thermoregulate body temperature. When they're not basking, these guys are incredible swimmers, extremely powerful and constrictors. When these guys are fully grown, they'll be taking on almost anything right at the top of the food chain, like caiman. They're really powerful creatures.